I didn't see you there. Today's lesson is all about monogamous relationships in nature. What is social monogamy, you might ask? Well, social monogamy is when a male and a female pair up and share their resources, and they only have each other as a partner at any given time. Now, I know what you all might be thinking. Why would social monogamy evolve in males when clearly polygamy hews a higher Darwinian fitness? The number one theory for social monogamy is by parental care. This is especially encouraged when birds live in harsh environments or have many predators. By parental care increases the nest low success rate. This way, one parent can search for food while the other guards the nest from predators or broods the eggs. However, this is not the only reason why social monogamy exists. There are several other methods that encourage social monogamy, such as fewer mating opportunities, female intrasexual regression, time constraint, and decreased distances between nests of birds. But we will only be addressing a few in detail. This can be observed in woodpeckers. Male woodpeckers are constrained due to time. Each breeding season, the male woodpeckers must excavate a cavity. Each cavity takes 15 days to make. Also, the males have high parental care responsibility due to the harsh environments. This limits the male's ability to attract other mates. But what are extra pair partners for? The extra pair partner undergoes extra pair copulation with the partner already in a monogamous relationship. This provides a chance of a higher Darwinian fitness for both the male and the female undergoing extra pair copulation. This is better off seen in nature. Here we see a happy monogamous couple, or are they? Here we see the female being called to look after the young. The male, however, has more time on his hands. Since he is not time constrained to monogamy, he has more time for extra pair copulations. He is not putting all his eggs in one nest. This is all fine and dandy when the primary mate is left in the dark. However, when the primary mate finds out, the situation changes. As in the European starling, female intrasexual aggression is used as a method to constrain male. The female has two choices. Choice number one, as we see here, is the interruption method. Here, the primary mate interrupts her mate's attraction behavior or breeding attempts. Choice number two is to be aggressive towards the secondary mate and try to chase them off. In the European starlings, distance also plays a role in monogamous relationships. If the primary mate's nest is close to the secondary mate's nest, the male is more likely to be monogamous due to the female intrasexual regression. However, if the nests are further apart, the male can get away with being polygamous. Let's take a look. Hi. Hey, it's so good to see you again. Ah, I know. <laughs> I'm so excited for the as you can see, there are several methods to constrain mates which will make them monogamous. In this documentary, we focus on males being polygamous or having extra pair copulation. However, this is not always the case. Sometimes, females will also have extra pair copulation as well. This may be to fertilize all their eggs or, in the case of woodpeckers, if they have extra time on their hands. Thanks for sitting with us. See you next time.